Hi, it's Pekka from Gokbuget and welcome to our forest. So over there we have some goks in the ground and over here I have super buget. So my next step what I'm going to do is start up here and forward those next to the road. That is my plan. After Finmet guide it actually reroute those hoses over here so everything should be now ready. So let's start up the machine and start moving some wood material. I have at the moment first box loaded. So I, how I like to do stuff, I reverse first to the like the longest distance over there. So in, in this case it was so the ground is not too simple. So there is stumps and everything what is like so it's not like the uh, this is our forest. I have I have to do first thinning over here, so I'm testing it in our forest because it would be kind of strange for me not to test her over here. But I did reverse over here, take the box to the load and then I did like going to otherwise back. That is the style how I like to use and it's like, you can notice that it's like kind of real forest. And I, I wasn't so worried about the basic structure. Because these are like always lock bullets. But then like these controls and cabins and that kind of stuff I'm more testing over here. But let's we have so many locks over here in the forest that we have to continue. is actually it's not the most simple one over here but I'm next to the road over here so this is in that way this is good spot for me and over here it, hmm, I might try to take these or something uh, I think this looking how I'm at the moment loading it doesn't look so it's kind of boring most like let's hope you guys like that because it's but it's not boring to me, it's for me it's more it's uh like something good for my brains. Just drive over here and take the box and drive. I have it's getting dark and I have a lot of work over here, so I will continue. Lucky I have over here lamps, so I have to make the also test in the darkness. <laughs> User interface over here, so it's. I like it. And also over here, so you can actually. Over here, you can switch between drive and. You can. No. Okay, now it's in the grain. And I can like. Grapple speed tune like that. Now it's faster. So it's. And I'm actually also happy about how you can see out. So it's like, it's visibility is good. That is, I'm happy with this cabin at the moment. So it's, I think this is, the, in the Megamax there will be similar cabin. So I'm happy with this structure. And of course I'm slow over here with grain. I have a lot of things that I have tuned and I'm like, I'm just slow. I, I don't know how to use it. The driving is, because it's similar than original, it's simple for me, but then, then the crane, because it's like 
different joysticks and different everything it's new for me and I'm always go with the grain I'm not worried about that it's like that is what I am but it's I have my right to enjoy my life over here <laughs> I don't have to do it fast just I can just enjoy over here and do it how I like so I will continue doing what I like <laughs> So hello darkness, my old friend. So I'm at the moment over here in the darkness with the clock bullet. And so I came over here to make some light test. Because it's like, actually it's nice when it's like a bright day, you go to forest with your chainsaw. But then when it's dark, it's kind of hard to go over there without any lamps. So. The only way I actually test how light lamps are working, I have to take a bullet to forest and test. So, and I have actually over here, I have two different lights. So one is those like in the top and then other ones are over here in the uh, cabin guard. So this wood holder. So the idea over here is actually that when I have only teeth, you can see the first, and then it's different. And of course, if you have both, then it's... So, let's start up machine and go to forest. This is for that drive, but it's the first time for me. I have never been over there before, so let's see how we can survive. So we are back from the forest. Actually, the full lights are nice when you drive. So you can also to the front. But then these are nice for the loading because it's like just a loading area. So it worked. But of course, actually, it's so much more difficult to drive in the darkness because like over there is that spot. It's actually a wet spot. For some reason, there's like, I didn't notice that just wheels goes down over there. Even this light with my scene, but one wheel. So it doesn't feel so nice, but okay, she's strong machine that she can. But that was nasty, actually. This I should have for this kind of testing better forest because this is like too re too real. So it's morning, September morning. It's so beautiful because it's so it's foggy over here and like it's peaceful. I have my air muff because I I have at the moment I have YouTube running over here and. I listen music or something like that or it it makes me more relaxed that I'm like I'm not like doing everything so fast I'm more relaxed and happily doing stuff see it's over here happily I I have to take this this wood material away from the forest and okay over here is this it doesn't look so much but it's like 35 centimeters at least big over here. So it's that was surprising me in the darkness So I did, I did come over here in the darkness and my plan actually is to make from this main collector path toward over there So it's those that wood material over there will be driven through this path. That is my plan yeah, but okay, I will start her up and like continue having fun.
drive her over here. This is typical Finnish for forest. So it's like it's not even. It's so if you look wheels, those are uh, I have bucket because I use this as a camera support, super high-tech company, use super high-tech solutions. But this actually works good in the forest, so it's life hack. <laughs> yeah, but if you if you look how the wheels are, so top, down, I'm next to the road over here, it's this is good spot and all the neighbors can see that I'm actually working over here and top. So it's like it's like warm over here. And next I will take this wood material over the bed. So let's let's place the camera to support and let's have fun. Here we have wood material next to the road and other nice thing. Here we have machine. And here we have happy Pekka. <laughs> so actually yesterday when I did arrive over here, I was so stressed that when I had my air muffs on, it was like tutum, 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 tutum. So my heart was beating so hard that I did hear that from my ears. Yep, I was a little stressed out. But at the moment, after machine is over here, so I'm less stressed. And everything did work like I was thinking it should work. Of course I have never, I don't have so much experience with cabin, but this cabin is nice and it's also good looking, round shapes and that kind of, and those are my firewood. I will come to pick up those with trailer and take those next to sauna. Yeah, but anyway it's like, uh, my original plan actually was to leave her over here and make video that I come over here and like take down trees with chainsaw, but then I, I did yesterday send message to my customer that there she is in the forest, and then he did reply that please send me prepayment. So uh, after he pays the prepayment, I feel that it's not anymore my machine in that degree that I don't want to take that to our forest and work with that because it's it's not mine anymore after that. So now I will load up here and drive back to my workshop and do that kind of stuff. Yeah. By the way, if you did like the video, please give thumb up. And if you are not yet subscribed to Rockbullet's YouTube channel, please press subscribe so there will be more Rockbullet action videos and manufacturing and other stuff. But meanwhile, bye.